Hello sub lovers, Hunrider here back with another video and this morning quickie I will update you guys on some of the repairs that have been carried out during my stay in Bangladesh first of all the seat heating buttons have been replaced my mechanic friend basically stitched two new buttons together from four so I had two original ones and the two that I've ordered now the backlighting works, even though on the right side button sometimes it's flaky, so sometimes the light works, sometimes not, but more often it works than not, so for now it'll do. My uh, buddy told me that he used some generic LEDs which are supposed to be green, but uh, in my eyes the left button has a yellowish tint to it and the right button has a, a red tint to it. I don't mind. Uh, I like the idea that they're fixed, they're working, and you know, I even like that there are non-standard colors, so it's fine by me. The other component that has been changed was that uh, ignition module that is behind this key uh, barrel. My friend told me that he did extensive uh, tests and it seems to work alright. In my opinion, since this module has been changed, the engine fires up more eagerly, but it might be just a placebo, so I'm not sure. The, more, the most important thing is that the part that I've bought very cheaply seems to be all right, and uh, I'm very happy with it. The next item on our list is this uh, vent control knob. So, as you guys may remember, I bought an entire replacement vent and um, once again, my friend managed to create one working air vent out of two. Um, he also did a beautiful cleaning job. It seems that it's way more cleaner than this on, on this side. Uh, so. That's just a testament to the kind of work he does. And uh, last but not least, the center locking system has been fixed. Unfortunately, the previous owner, uh, or someone at least, when the car was, wasn't mine, did some very shoddy electrical work. So, uh, below here, my friend tells me that there is a standard module that controls the central locking that's why even though if you don't have a remote when you use the key on the driver door and on the passenger door all doors should lock and unlock and uh, unfortunately uh, someone with that very shoddy electrical work managed to to ruin that control module and after that they did some very very shoddy wiring so basically the sensor, which is controlled by this remote control, has been installed somewhere here in the door and uh, they uh, ran some wires pretty uh, uh, uselessly, my friend tells me. Anyway, uh, the entire uh, central locking system was a mess. My friend took care of that too, so now it's working okay. I did have some problems with the with one of the motors here on the right door the right uh, hand door on the back side of the car and uh, my friend also patched up that motor but he told me that there is no guarantee that it will work for the moment it works what I've noticed uh, yesterday was that when I uh, locked the car, this door didn't lock at some point. But it only happened once, so <laughs> I'm hoping that it will work for quite a while and if, it, if it'll break again then I'll see what I'll do. So, basically this is the update I was planning and uh, I'm happy, so... Slowly but surely, I'm confident that I'll bring this car in a in a very okay state. And um, 
once again say hello to my girlfriend and uh, see you in the next video